I'm here with Sherry Hobb for Shipwreck Beads, and Sherry's also the author of a terrific book. It's Beaded Macrame Jewelry. Yeah, it's all about the materials that you use. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be using um, fine silk bead cord, which just changes the look. So let's start talking about the materials that you're using. Okay, and as I was speaking of, um, the silk comes on a card like this at the mm -hmm. bead store. And so you'll need um, two yards um, for each for three strands, so three six strands. yards, so two cards of okay. this cut into two yard lengths. Good to know. <laughs> right, when you go get home and find out, I exactly. can't make my project. <laughs> and then um, you can use pearls of any kind, just whatever color you desire. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the holes could be a little small on mm. these, so you can use a little bead reamer that will um, shave out the holes just a bit to fit over your, your That's cord. That's a good tip also. And then to accent, we're going to be using a few of these crystal glass beads, and mm -hmm. these can be any color or finish that you like. These are A, B, that's why you see the sparkle there. Okay. And the size cord that we're using is a size two, mm -hmm. um, and that usually fits through most of the beads, but sometimes I'll use a four and mm -hmm. then just make sure my holes are big enough. And to start out, I put the three lengths through a finding like this. This is our toggle that we're gonna start and pull um, all of the cords right to the center. Mm -hmm. So you just pull them through there. And then the next step is um, tying an overhand knot and what I do is I just take my clasp and mm -hmm. simply tie a knot to begin. And just the trick is getting these all even, mm. cinching it up, and then you can just pull each one individually and get those even. Okay. And then our next step is a nice little um, bead like this that has a nice big round hole. Right. And why I use that is so I can cover the knot. And I oh, slide that on idea. up. Mm -hmm. And you can use a little piece of wire or something to, to string it through just mm -hmm. over the ends of the the cord to get that through all the layers. Okay, and then we're going to, going to start by making a square knot. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I've done is I've pulled two cords down the center okay. and two cords out to each side. And what you want to do is make sure that at least um, one of your cords on each side has this nice bead wire that comes with mm. on the card attached. And that will help aid those little fine crystals that we're going to use later. That's a great then one. to tie a square knot, we fold um, you sort of make a four with the left side mm -hmm. and then bring the right side over and you notice I'm using two. Mm -hmm. And I've pinned this to a board here, but you can use an office clipboard or tape on a counter or whatever you want to secure the top and the bottom of your pieces. So just so left over right. Makes it easier. Right. And, get, and keep your, you want to keep this tension. Gotcha. That side and then I repeat the same on, the other on side. that side and, and run it through. So we do a series of two complete square knots. So okay, with the we'll outside too. Right. Mm -hmm. Outside four. Right. Say. And then when we've got that complete, we're going to slide a pearl up mm -hmm. and then start adding our little crystal beads. So I have the finished one here and these nice little um, beads that you form around the edge, I'm going to show you with this model to make it a little easier to see. I love that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so after I've got, this is my pearl, we'll say mm -hmm. that green Pony bead is the pearl. We've got our two outside <coughs> strands, and you string your little crystal on first okay. onto one of the outs, and that's the one you're going to be tying with. This one stays stationary, and we're tying a lark's head knot, which is over the top of the center cord like this, uh -huh. and then under the center cord and through. Okay. And that's it. The square knot and the lark's head are how wow. we complete this entire bracelet. And so after we've added three in the same manner. Mm -hmm. I've got it one finished here, so we've got three little beads there, and then I will repeat the same pattern on the, the left side, side to, to complete it, so that you've, you're just working with the opposite, the outside, always work with mm -hmm. your outside, uh, whoops, that was the wrong one, it's the outside there with the bead on it, make sure you're working, tying that okay. one, and that gotcha. will allow your beads to sit nicely without cord mm -hmm. showing. So once right. you've got that, um, they just slide the then you're way. ready. Well, before we slide it, we do two more square knots just gotcha. to repeat our pattern up here, mm -hmm. and that's the whole pattern. Wow. You complete the pattern all the way down, doing three beads on each side, mm -hmm. two square knots, two complete square knots, and, and measure your wrist as you go along. That's perfect. And then to finish... And of course, we do have the, the um, instructions on our website, beadsbobblesandjewels.com, so that'll that, be helpful that's too. That's helpful when you try <laughs> yeah. to learn later. Uh -huh. And then you finish by simply sliding another bead that you did at the beginning, the one over all the cords with a big hole, uh -huh. over your remaining square knots, and then you simply just add uh -huh. your clasp, tie this on, add a little, clip it off, add a little bead wow. glue to hide that knot, and then slide your um, 
feed back over the knot. That's perfect. And it's done. You know what I want to show everyone is that you brought a different um, version of it, just using different beads. And of course, you know, there's so many varieties if you want to do pearls, if you want to do some other crystals, different things that you can find to use that same pattern that you just taught us, the oh, different mediums. Oh, it's lots of fun. You can just um, make it casual and mm -hmm. use turquoise or yeah. um, little little like it elegant right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, you can see the necklaces. And I love the timepiece, that beautiful watch using all of these just just you know once you start with one knot you can just start experimenting with different ones too. They're all the basics. Yeah. Just they're they're all based on the similar knot. So that was a lot of fun, Sherry. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well next we travel to a show to meet Fernando da Silva.